Hi gang, Jeff McAleer again, and today I'm taking a look at Courtier from AEG. This is the third of the four current titles in the City State of Tempest line of games. It's designed by Philip Dewberry. It's for two to four players, ages 10 and up, and should be able to be played in about 45 minutes or so. As we saw in Dominere, you were looking to control Tempest through utilizing different agents, different personalities and characters in the city itself. In Mercanti, you were looking to become the wealthiest and most powerful merchant house in Tempest. Now, in Cordier, you're looking to be able to control the court of the city as well. So let's take a look inside the box and see exactly what we have with Cordier. Well, we've got the rule book. Once again, in that same sort of half style as the previous two games. And it starts off with a little bit of fiction to kind of set the scene. Yeah, unfortunately, the rule book's a little bent up here. It's talking about the different aspects of the game. It looks like it's got a bit of an auction mechanic to it. And all in all, it looks like there's eight pages of rules with some examples of play and some optional rules for playing with two players. Well, I can see this is a map here. So let's open this up. And the map is showing the various different personalities of the court. The king, the prince, the princess, guild master, the admiral. And it looks as if they're broken up into various different categories. So the royal family, the church, commerce, military, and so on. Along the side, it appears that there's a bit of a tracker. Maybe that's for victory points. Also in the box, we have little wooden cubes for each of the players in different colors. And three decks of cards. As well as a nice little storage area to put everything. So let's take a look to see what these cards are. Just quickly go through to make sure that these are separated. There might be more than the three decks, but it looks so far like it is the three decks. No, maybe not. Looks like there's a fourth deck. It looks as if these cards represent each of the factions or groups that are in the court. And it appears that each of these have a specific ability to them. These cards here almost look as if these are event cards. Saying the queen wears an exotically styled dress made from imported silks. Ooh. So it looks like maybe these are just different events that are going on. Looks like some of them have specific symbols on them as well. This deck here looks like it's broken down into personalities. And it looks like there's different characters as well. The Princess Annette. The Admiral. And 
so on. And of course, in the review, I'll discuss what each of these cards actually do. But right now, we're just looking to see what's in the game. It looks like these are petition cards. And then finally, this last deck. Looks like these are various different powers that maybe you get to utilize throughout the game. So there you have what's in the box for Cordier. As I mentioned, of course, I'll have a review in the near future on the game. But until then, be sure to swing on over to thegaminggang.com for the latest in news, reviews, and opinion regarding the tabletop gaming world and a whole lot more. Once again, this is Jeff McAleer, and thanks for joining me.